Hi, today is October 21st, 2023, and here are my poems for the day, and there are the jackhammers. Adds to the fun, don't you think? Uh, the first one is poem number 1688 for the year. Here's the thing. I have a show on Monday at 7 at a vegan restaurant called The Organic Grill, but here's the thing, if you go, you have to spend $20. But here's the thing, the food there is fucking incredible, but here's the thing, the show is called Live Music Mondays, so I feel like I ought to play music, but here's the thing, most of my songs are not songs you would want to hear while you're eating, like the one called The Act of Seeing with One's Own Eyes. Of the songs I've written this year, it is far and away my favorite, but here's the thing, it's about me being a corpse being autopsied and a lot of my other songs are vulgar but here's the thing even though it's called live music mondays i was told i can read poems so maybe i will read some poems maybe i will read this one and maybe i'll do some covers so here's the thing everything will be just fine no matter what happens it will be fine that's the thing poem number 1689 time will tell Time will tell. Sometimes time just keeps on telling. Sometimes time should shut the fuck up. Sometimes if you do something really fucked up, time will tell on you. Sometimes when you try to hide something from time, time can tell. And it does. And it will. Time can be a goddamn blabbermouth like Ralph Cramden's mother-in-law. Did you see that one? That was a good one. Of course, Ralph Cramden, as a character, doesn't really hold up. Constantly threatening to punch your spouse in the face really doesn't fly in 2023. And it shouldn't have flown then. And it's good that it doesn't fly now. It is good that time has told on Ralph Cramden. It's not always great when time tells, but sometimes it's a good thing. Poem number 1690, A String of Peloponnese. Speaking of the honeymooners, there was another episode where one of the jokes was that Ed Norton didn't recognize the phrase polo ponies, and when he was helping Ralph rehearse for a play, Norton said, I don't have a string of Peloponnese, pronouncing it Peloponnese. A few decades later, I was in the studio with Kramer making the spoken word recordings for the Real Men album, and I had a poem called My Life, not to be confused with the Billy Joel song, and not to be confused with another poem on the Real Men album called My Personal Life. There's a line in my life that goes, my life as a string of Peloponnese, except you have to pronounce it like Ed Norton does. So I did that in the recording studio, and Kramer started cracking up. I can't remember whether he stopped the tape and I had to start over or whether we kept going, but it made me happy that he recognized the reference, and it makes me happy to think about it now. Poem number 1691, I could not find my life. While writing the last one, I thought it would be nice to listen to my life again, but I couldn't find it on the internet, and I'll be damned if I'm going to dig through my CDs and then plug in my kid's CD burner into my laptop and convert that shit to an MP3 or look for that shit on Spotify, especially because the track listings are wrong on The Real Men album because I don't want to get into it now, but the point being that I could not find my life. No one saved my life last night, and now I no longer have it. I would thank God my poetry is still alive, but is it? Poem number 1692, Flogging a Dead Horse. If my poetry is no longer still alive, it's my own damn fault. Nobody asked me to try to write 2,000 poems a year for five years. Nobody asked me to try to... Nobody asked me to treat poetry like a dead horse and to try to flog it 10,000 times. One person asked me three years ago to post a poem a day for eight days. Amy Uzunian didn't even ask me to write eight poems in eight days. She only asked me to post eight poems for eight days on Facebook. I was the idiot who decided to write a poem a day and then three a day and then finally, hopefully, five on weekdays and seven on weekends. I was the idiot who realized that five on weekdays and seven on weekends would come to 2,000 a year. At least I've been trying to keep them shorter lately, except today. Today I've been going on like Cramden's mother-in-law. Two to go. I hope they're short. Poem number 1693, Better Be Dead. Since I am vegan, if I had to flog a horse, it would have to be a dead one. I would never flog a dead horse. So if you're going to try to make me flog a horse, it had better be dead. Else I'm not going to do it. And last poem of the day, poem number 1694, jackhammering. Ah, fuck me, they're jackhammering now. I don't want to wait to record these poems, so there's going to be jackhammering. Hey, it will be like the jackhammers on Real Men from the Real Men album. What fun!
All right, that's it. I'm actually glad the jackhammers held up for that last one. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Happy Saturday.